Anthony Cotati went from wearing one of these shirts in practice as a manager to wearing one of these jerseys as a player on game days. On December 21st, 2016, Anthony got the opportunity to make his season debut against the Wildcats of Bethune Cookman. And then this happened. Getting to my first game against Bethune Cookman was incredible. I had no idea that I was going to be playing this year. I thought I was redshirting. And so when I, I was just sitting on the bench uh, by one of the coaches, and then all of a sudden, he leaned over, told me, Katati, he might be going in. Uh, honestly, I freaked out. I was not expecting it, but I was so excited. Coaches and players praise Anthony for being an amazing manager, but know his dream was always to play on the team. He's just an amazing manager, first off. He just does everything that's asked for him, you know. He's, you know, he's an extension of the coaching staff, and he does all the right things. You know, we ask him to do things. He's the first one to do it, comes to our offices, asks us if we need anything. So, you know, we love him on that standpoint, but, you know, his dream was always to be a part of the men's basketball program. And I can remember when he broke his leg last year, I'll come in here to work uh, my son out, and he's here with his boot and his cast sitting down on the chair just shooting the ball because, you know, that was his ultimate goal to make the team. So, you know, it was just a dream come true for the kid. One player on the team describes Anthony as not just a manager and teammate, but an inspiration as well. He's always just the guy you can talk to. Uh, he's just that positive dude. And um, personally, man, he's just, he, he's, he's, he's a big inspiration even to me, you know. Um, you know, his work ethic, you know, he's even in here shooting shots with us um, a lot. He's always working out with us and stuff. So he's just a great, he's a great, um, a great person. He's always loyal, he's always committed, um, whatever you ask him. Um, hey Anthony, can you rebound for me? Hey Anthony, can you um, do this or do that? You know, he's never to say no. You know, he's always, yeah, sure, no problem, anytime. You know, I'm always just trying to help the team, you know, be successful. It was interesting because when Coach Dawkins had said, hey Rick, Katadi's coming in, I turned around and said, Katadi, you're in. His first expression was like, no coach, no, no. And I said to him, no, you're going in. And he goes, no coach, please. And I was like, you've, you've worked your whole life for this moment. You know, go out there and enjoy it, you know. You never know if you're going to have this opportunity ever again. So why don't you go out there and just do what you do best. And when he scored that basket, man, I was just, you know, I was just happy for him. You know, because of all he's done, all the work he's put in, and the kind of person the kid is, you know, it was just a, an amazing moment. Well, man, you know, he, he, he was excited. You know, he's excited. Uh, he's always excited. But the moment he went to that score table and he was about to get in, man, you could just see it in his eyes. You know, he was he was so excited to get in, man. And uh, once he caught that ball and shot it and made the layup, you know, it was just it was just unbelievable, man. You know, to see somebody a good person like that, we just we just had to run up on him and then jump on him, man, because you know we we were just so excited for him because he's all about the team. You know, he he's never me. It's, he's all about we. You know, and a person like that, man, we we can't do nothing but be happy for him. It meant a lot, but honestly, what meant more than anything was not even the playing itself, not scoring the bucket, but the reactions of my teammates, my managers, and my coaches. Uh, when I made the bucket, I was ecstatic. I was on top of the world. But then, when I saw running back down the court, my entire bench erupt. I did just... Uh, the coaches are young. Coach Dawkins is a pretty stoic man. It's pumping his fist. Uh, you got the guys jumping up and down. And then before the buzzer even sounds, they storm the court. I met one guy after another, such that I, I toppled down. And it's a dog pile. Uh, more of a mobbing, honestly. <laughs> Although Anthony has a limited amount of playing time each game, he is always trying to make an impact when he's on the floor. Uh, as a player, you know, he's always passionate um, on the court. Um, you know, when, while he's on the bench or even if he's playing, he's always, you know, cheering us on, motivating us, telling us little stuff to do, the right things to do on the court. And um, even when he gets in the game, you know, he's always playing hard. Uh, I think last game he got like two rebounds, um, you know, just bringing energy, you know, and um, we all feed off of that. So he's awesome. Since making the team the past couple, couple months ago, this has been the best few months of my life. Every day is a perfect day. There are no bad days. Every day I wake up and I'm a member of the UCF men's basketball team. That's everything. There, this is the best time of my life. That is a moment I will cherish forever. But at the end of the day, I don't want to look back at it too much because we're still growing. 
We're still building. We're not here to win one game. We're not here to win 10 games. We're here to win a championship. That's the culture at UCF. We're here for one thing, that's to win a championship. Anthony got the chance to live one of his lifelong dreams as a basketball player. He is still a junior at UCF and is looking forward to keep making an impact next season. Reporting for Campus Connect, from UCF, I'm Stefan Henry.